The United States Navy has numerous military ships that are mighty enough. Even one of the deadliest Navy ships in history belongs to the Americans, the USS Indianapolis. But now, they're going ahead to a new stage. The US Navy is planning to design 100 unmanned ships to conquer the world. Besides power, the Americans are going to use artificial intelligence, too, in building their ships. What would be the motive for this new advancement? How will these new vessels work? And how are they made? To find out the answers, let's watch the video till the end. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, subscribe to our channel. Also, turn on the notifications for more interesting facts and news. Oceans are the most scariest part of the Earth. No one can accurately predict the nature of oceans. So, guarding the marine boundaries is indeed a life-threatening job. But with the advancement of technology, you can relax and sit on the coast. Whatever details are needed for you will be getting in front of your screen. This is what the US plans to achieve with 100 drone ships. Maritime tensions between Iran and the US and its allies have peaked in recent years. In 2018, former US President Donald Trump pulled the US out of the nuclear deal with Iran and reimposed devastating sanctions on Tehran. In 2019, a British-flagged oil tanker, Stena Impero, was seized by Iranian authorities in the Strait of Hormuz. The authorities claimed that it was violating international maritime rules. Following this, incidents of seizure of oil tankers by Iranian forces and mysterious explosions in vessels have created a maritime shadow war between the United States and Iran. But Iran has denied accusations of carrying out the attacks. The US has been trying to strengthen its alliance in the region to combat the threat posed by Iran. Iran has allegedly employed new disruptive techniques to further its shadow war with the Arab world as well as its arch enemy, Israel. Also, Iran backed Houthi rebels to launch bomb-laden drone boats towards Saudi waterways. It caused damages to vessels and oil installations. On April 2021, a remotely piloted boat loaded with explosives was sent to the Saudi port of Yanbu in the Red Sea. The US Navy seized the cargo ship that was sailing from Iran to Yemen through the Gulf of Oman in January 2022. The vessel was loaded with fertilizers suspected to be used in the manufacturing of explosives. Furthermore, Windward, a maritime intelligence agency whose data is used by the US government to investigate sanction violations, disclosed that it had discovered more than 200 ships engaged in more than 350 cases of GPS location manipulation to escape sanctions since January 2020. It was believed that Iran was home to the majority of these ships. Now it's all clear why the United States Navy had this plan of unmanned drones. Despite having mighty weapons, the US fears Iran, and Vice Admiral Brad Cooper also conceded to it. It's been well established that Iran is number one in the primary regional threat we are addressing. They're a ballistic missile, cruise missile, and UAV component, both in their capability and their mass proliferation, as well as the proxy forces, says Commander Cooper. Vice Admiral Brad Cooper, the top admiral in charge of U.S. naval operations in the Middle East, warned that the Gulf of Mexico's maritime security is most at risk from Iran. Cooper is also the fifth fleet commander and in charge of the Combined Maritime Forces, a naval force of 34 member nations operating in the Red Sea, Gulf of Aden, Northern Arabian Sea, Gulf of Oman, Arabian Gulf, and Indian Ocean. Cooper emphasized the dangers posed by Iran's drone program and the technology it gives to its regional affiliates. So, to counter this, the Navy announced in October 2022 that they're going to deploy a fleet of 100 unmanned drones from the Red Sea into the Persian Gulf by next summer. The decision was announced by Vice Admiral Brad Cooper while addressing the U.S. Coast Guard Academy. The U.S. Navy also has the support of its allied nations for this new venture. Anyway, that was obvious, and no country will show the instant guts to abstain from the U.S. decisions. Who doesn't want peace in their country? Let's continue. We've established a goal to have 100 unmanned surface vessels available for patrol in waters around the Arabian Peninsula by the end of the summer of 2023, with the majority of the systems coming from our international and regional partners, says Cooper. A U.S. Navy drone ship launched a killer missile capable of shooting opposing ballistic and hypersonic missiles in September 2021. The U.S. Navy's unmanned surface vessel, commonly known as USV, is part of the program named Ghost Fleet Overlord. 
According to reports, this operation aimed to determine the capabilities of unmanned warships and learn how they work. The U.S. Navy is currently developing the underwater unmanned vehicle as part of the Manta Ray program. Though the announcement of unmanned drones was made in 2022, the designing and testing were started in 2021, and the project was termed Task Force 59. For the past year, the United States Central Command has served as a testing ground for a group of long-endurance unmanned systems at sea combined with artificial intelligence technologies on land to detect military threats or criminal behavior. Unlike some of the high-end drones employed by the U.S. military, the information and sensors for each drone are unclassified, with their output being broadcast back to a marine operations center for a human decision when the AI system detects something unusual. These 100 unmanned drones will be interconnected and will be controlled by satellite. These drones have automatic identification systems, radar, and 360-degree high-accuracy cameras. The main aim of deploying the 100 drones is to make the surveillance part stronger than ever before. These drones will be used to patrol large areas of the Persian Gulf to prevent attacks. 100 unmanned drones will include both sailing and submersibles. It will also allow the Navy to closely check waters vital to the global oil supply and maritime flows. The drones going to be deployed will be responsible for the security of the critical Strait of Hormuz. Through this strait, 20% of all the world oil shipments occur. So indirectly, by deploying these 100 drones, the United States will have an eye on the oil business of other countries. Things are then pretty easy for Americans. If they want to conquer any country, all they need is to capture all their oil ships, which may lead to the devastation of the economy. And, also with this unmanned automatic system, the U.S. Navy can actually reduce the need for army men to stay in oceans to safeguard the marine boundaries. With this, the additional cost required for the survival of army men in the ocean can also be cut off. As a whole, this entire new plan will give great results with fewer efforts, don't you agree? 800 unmanned drones planned by the United States are a checkmate to Iran in the Persian Gulf region. Under the full-time surveillance of these drones, it won't be easy, like before, for Iran to break the rules. What are your thoughts about the United States project? Is Iran playing fair, or does the US create the most problem? Share your opinions in the comments section below. Did you like our video? Then please hit the thumbs up. For more exciting new content, subscribe to our channel. Also, enable the notifications for our updates. We don't want you guys to miss the new things happening around the world. Let's meet with a new video. Goodbye.